Batiazzi is badly beaten, he goes unconscious and wakes up at home. When Lucretia wants to speak to the magistrate, he says there's no point due to Telis's connections. Batiazzi mentions some of the prior champions of the house of Batiazzi who fought under his father and grandfather. Salonia says that Tullius wants to double the price on Gannicus and paid for the wine. Batiazzi says that he beat him up and smashed the bottle, but Salonia says that if he refuses, he himself is also excluded from that arena. Batiazzi wants to get in touch with someone higher than Tullius called Veros. Gannicus is a good friend with Animaeus and says that he would give him a glorious death in the arena. When Crixus seeks advice on becoming champion, Gannicus tells him it's never to lose. Batiatus and Gannis to no recruits for a secret mission. He used them because they don't have the mark. As the men stand by, we see Vettius. The recruit says that Varos sent him to meet up at the arena. But Vettius says it's elsewhere. When the guy says he'll tell him that he refused, he goes along. When they're in an alley, he kicks and punches Vettius. Asher and Dagon come out and kill his guards. They then beat up Vettius and then urinate on him. Asher then stabs Indus and says that since his face was seen, they must kill him. As Varos waits for Vettius, Gaia comes up and speaks to him. He's there to purchase gladiator from Vettius. They convince him to come to the villa so that they can call Vettius is there. As he's there, Batiatus arrives, the man hears that he's also a Lannister. When he inquires about the gladiators, Gaia tells him that Vettius' gladiators are not even good. He then looks upon the men and wants a demonstration, Gannicus versus Crixus. As they stand, the man wants them to use steel swords, but the Doctor isn't pleased. As Crixus charges violently, Gannicus strikes him down. He gets up and charges again, but gets taken down a few times. But he then takes away the sword and hits Gannicus. He's taken down and goes for the kill. However, Gannicus gets back on his feet and takes Crixus down but Gaia allows him to live. When Batiatus tells the Doctori to bring Gannicus up, he says that Indus didn't return. Batiatus says he was rewarded and a Syrian should be branded with the mark of the Brotherhood. He says that they didn't pass his father's test. Batiatus says he decides what the test is and says he will make Onomais the Doctori as he's a relic from the past. Batiatus tells Gannicus to please Varos in every way. He's not pleased with the matter. When Gannicus enters, he's fascinated. As he touches Gannicus, he's disgusted. He wants Gannicus to sleep with Melita. Dagon receives the mark and is kicked and Asher also received it. The Doctor is furious. When Unameis calls his name, he's mad and tells him to fight him. They begin fighting, but Unameis holds back. The men try to hold him back. He cuts Unameis, he then fights back. Meanwhile, Milita is sad and Gannix is intimate with her. The men battle and Unameis pierces the Doctori. He's shocked. The Doctori says he taught him well and then dies. Unameis expresses his grief. Batiata says that he will be the new Doctori and will send him his wife soon. Varus is pleased and wants Gannix to perform the Primus. Unameis is sad at the death of his teacher and so is Milita due to the act she had to perform. When Unameis tells his wife that he committed a terrible thing, she says that they must do what they are commanded in his house. 